How to use Microsoft Loop for project management step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys Microsoft Loop and how you can use this tool to manage your project. Plus, using Microsoft Loop can be a really easy and efficient way for you to carry out all of your tasks with Microsoft 365. So let's get into it. Now to get started with Microsoft Loop, simply head on over to microsoft.com slash Microsoft dash loop and then click on get started with loop over here. Now to get started, click on get started once more and you will have to log in to your Microsoft account. Now I already have a Microsoft 365 account, so I'm just going to log into that one. However, if you don't have a Microsoft 360 account, you will have to create one. Now, Microsoft 365 comes for different businesses and home use, and you can choose whichever plan suits you the best because it's going to be very different for different people, especially considering their family and personal plans vary a lot. There are different features and also keep in mind that if you take a look at their plans and pricing over here, if you subscribe to the lowest plan on Microsoft 365, which is their Microsoft 365 Business Basic, you do not get Microsoft Loop included. So keep that in mind whenever you are subscribing to Microsoft. Now let's go back into Microsoft Loop and take a look at the actual features. So once you sign up on Microsoft, this is going to be your account. On the top, you have your profile or your actual icons who has opened up this page then on the left you just have your basic welcome and getting started pages you have check the basics and this will give you some basic information so if you want to mention people to open a emoji to select any text and you can format it and then to hold this icon of text to drag and drop content so after that you even have a chat bubble icon to add a comment or a reaction then you have your click the loop logo to see your workspace and more you have a get inspired page a send feedback and next space so we can get started with building our workspace now you guys can see we have the view and organize pages by hierarchy or activity so we can do that as well and then you can create more pages now this is our actual getting started workspace and i'm just going to delete this because it's not necessary for us and once you do that this is going to be your empty microsoft account on your top right you have your account and settings over here so if you want a light theme a dark theme or a system theme as well as accessibility and privacy tools now after that you have a ideas section so you can capture all of your ideas in microsoft loop and then you have a recent pages section we're going to create a new workspace and let's say we are going to name this dirt den like this and then we're going to click on create now once you create a workspace you can create multiple different pages under that workspace so let's say we have marketing ideas like this now once you have created a page you can see on the bottom there are some templates that you can choose from and you can even open up the template gallery over here to get started with these pre-existing templates so if i want a particular type of page i can create that as well However, let's say in our template gallery over here, we have a bunch of different pages and we have a marketing plan. So let's take a look at this page over here. It's a pretty nice one. So I'm going to click on use this template. Now I can get started with my own marketing plan over here. So let's say um, we want to spread dirt into each corner of the world like this. And then after that, we have a executive summary of what exactly we want to accomplish within this particular board. So what is your den? You know, which industry are you in? Who is your target market? Retail for upper middle echelon of society like this. And then after that, you can enter your goals in these little sections. So you have this little column. Our first goal is to maybe increase brand awareness and then we also have let's say we want to get 100k in sales and then we also maybe want to rank first on google and then we can add the metrics which basically means where are you currently with those goals so let's say we have a 30 percent reach and we want to increase that to maybe like 70 percent then let's say we have uh 12k in sales and then we are 
maybe ninth in Google rankings. So this can help you in getting a good idea of where you currently are versus where you want to be in your plans. Now, next up, you have a competitive analysis in this particular template where you can add your competitors and key differentiators, SWOT analysis, strategy, as well as assignments. Now, in your actual strategy, you can even build votes within Microsoft Loop. So now let's build a simpler page. So let's get started with a simple page and I'll show you guys some of the key features and how you can integrate them yourself. So marketing plan or let's say social media marketing plan. And then you can click on add cover over here and you can use a pre-existing design as well. So let's say we add this over here and we can just get started by typing. Now we can click on the slash icon over here and let's say I want to create a voting table like this. Now, let's say I want to not have a pros and cons section. I just want a simple voting section and I'll structure this like this. And then I can add our idea. Let's say we have um, Instagram ads or maybe Facebook ads like this. And then your team or the members that you have can vote over here. Now on the top right, you have shared locations. So you can take a look at the shared locations for this particular workspace. And you can also copy this board as it is. Then you can also click on share over here and you can copy the sharing link to this particular workspace or the page only. So if people are only meant to be invited to a certain page, so let's say you only want your marketing people to have access to the marketing page and then your finance team to have access to the finance page then you can share the page link with those people so you're just going to generate your page link over here and we're going to allow this and then we have copied our link over here and you can go into settings and you will have your sharing settings as well so people in this particular um, account or people with an existing access or people you can choose or you can also do a anyone link as well now on the top right then you have your basic account and you have your version history as well so you can also generate a new recap of your entire plan. Now, if you go back into board and go into ideas, we can start building our ideas in the form of our segregated space on the loop platform. So let's say you have your own individual ideas that you're not ready and you're doing project planning. So you can do that over here as well. Before you share that in your main workspace, you can just keep that in your private ideas section. So in this way you can get started with microsoft loop although there might seem like there's like a larger learning curve it's very easy to get started with this especially considering how easy it is to insert and you know do all of your commands with just a slash you can enter code enter task list voting tables progress trackers mention people and assign it to multiple different people as well so it's pretty easy and i do think that with the other project managers in mind, you are going to get a good deal with Microsoft 365 considering you can have everything else integrated into Microsoft as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and if there's anything else you would like to know about Microsoft Loop that I left out in this particular video, then make sure to leave that in the comment box down below as well.